Okay, this video is going to show you how to spawn a sprite, uh, giving it a velocity. Okay, and you use this for things like bullets, or use it for explosions. So if you blow some up, you might want to spawn another sprite at their location. Um, so I'm gonna, I'll just show you what I've got at the minute, just in this little demo. I think I've just got a character. I've got this silly arrow character. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the arrow um, to shoot a bullet. Okay. Using another key. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my controller for my um, arrow sprite, my player. So, I'm going to go, this is my key code, and I'm going to set up the key I want to shoot. So, I'm going to use the input manager so I'm just in my controller code so I'm going to say when a key is pressed so that someone can't hold the key down I'll show you the difference at the end of the video of doing key held for bullets um, so I'm going to use the left control key so whenever that's pressed I'm going to spawn a bullet so I've just done my braces because <clears throat> I might do more things later on Right, so in order for this to work, um, I want to shoot it from the player's position. Okay, so I'm going to spawn a new bullet which doesn't exist yet, and I'm going to give it information about my player, so this sprite, um, and then I want to give it a, a a direction to shoot or a velocity so I'm just going to shoot to the right here so I'm just going to give it a velocity so I'm going to say uh, 200 is the speed I want it to move at pixels per second remember everything's measured in if we do velocities and things okay so I'm going to create this bullet so generate class so the first thing I'm going to do when I get a class, I'm going to put the libraries in there. So I'm just going to copy the libraries from my player. Zoom that in a bit. Paste the libraries in place. I'm also going to say public. This is going to be a sprite. So I'm going to say the bullet it inherits from sprite. So it's going to be a special type of sprite. I'm going to go back to player and my code that I've just written that's handling me shooting here it is, my bullet Okay. a quick way of doing that is think, oh no, I don't know where it was so if I say find all references I can see the line there that says new bullet so I can go to it quite quickly ok, so that's right click find all references right, I'm going to right click over this and say generate the constructor so this is the thing that creates the object ok, so it's taken the player int p, didn't know what that was, I'm going to change that to a float and I'm going to call that speed ok right, because I know it's uh, a player bullet this one uh, I don't want any of those, I'm just going to remove those I don't need them, and I don't need oh, I'll keep the mm. I'll keep the player reference I think I'll change it now, I don't need to keep the speed Okay. Right, I need to define a frame. So I'm going to say frame, define. Um, so you can see it on the vid, I'm going to use um, the engine's rectangle uh, from the uh, the shiny balls. Uh, and I'm going to uh, engine manager. But you will obviously have a graphic in mind for this, so you can put the definition for your. Uh, Image. Let me just get rid of solution explorer. Go away. I don't know what colour that is, but that just defines the frame from your sprite. One thing you must always remember to do: gm. Engine manager. Add sprite. If you don't say add sprite, you'll get no sprite because the engine won't know it exists. Um, right. I want to set its start position, so I'm shooting it from the player, so I can say position 
2D equals player dot position 2D. So I'll just say, right, we'll start it at the center of the player. Okay. And I want to give it a velocity, so I'm going to say velocity dot x, and I'm going to shoot it to the right. Okay. Now, let's just run this and see if this, if this works. So this will allow me to shoot. It's going to be a big, quite a big ball, so I'm just going to shoot as it's dropping. So you see, there's the ball. And that's how quick I can shoot it. 200 doesn't seem very fast, but that's just what it's doing. Make it a more realistic size. Let's scale that a bit. Let's make it 20%. The other thing that will happen... I've got a load of junk on this. It doesn't matter. The other thing that will happen is it will keep going forever. So what I'm also going to do is I'm going to turn the limit box system on. So I'm going to say limit initialize. Then I'm going to say limit. Now, I can either... What I want to do is I want to kill the bullet when it's gone outside of the screen. Okay. Now I'm not doing collision detection or anything on this with anything, so I'm just I'm just creating the bullet to start with. So I'm just going to say um, viewport action, and I'm just going to say limit action dot, and I'm going to say kill past. So as soon as it's going off screen, that will die. Okay. Now because I want eventually to do collision detection with this, I'm going to put a type in which I did in a previous video so I've got T player bullet okay, and that will allow me to do collision detection in another video or for your games so now I've got a bullet, but obviously you, you've got your own graphics that you want to use for this okay and that is as easy as it is now what you'll find is if you want the bullets to keep alive in the world okay instead of doing a viewport action you should do a region action and the region action needs a box so you can ask the engine so you can say gm dot oops you can if you type it properly engine manager dot world rectangle okay and that will allow it to live within the constraints of the world that you've set Exactly the same setup. So even though I've gone off screen, if I'd have gone off screen before, oh, bad bit of sprite here. Yeah. Okay, so that's that's just creating the bullet. Now I've not specified a direction or anything. I'm forcing it always to be the same way. So if you're doing like shoot more, you're always going to be shooting in the same direction. All right. Um, that'll conclude this vid. Uh, I'll show you collisions and things in a minute. Okay. I'll stop that one there.